Hey guys, welcome back to Third Quest. We are just gonna kind of mess around in this episode. Oh, it's dawn. Uh, mess around with now that we have all the items um, and probably some debug functions as well. Just kind of jumping around areas and looking to see what we can find. I also there is some screenshots of the inside of that place over there that I'll show off as well. Um, I will. I don't know when I'm gonna do it, but upload the soundtrack to this um, that is available in the files that I have. Um, and we'll look at those screenshots as well. So we have, what do we have, custom items wise? Eagle bow, the soldier's bow of past, symbolic of the mighty bird of prey, arrows normal. And apparently you can switch between different kinds of arrows. I'm not sure if it's possible to do that um, in this demo, because I was trying different functions. I was trying different, um, I was trying to switch like, how a Majora's Mask, you can like switch between the different arrow elements with the L and R buttons. Um, but it doesn't seem to really let me do that. Whoa. But we got a custom shield. We got a different shield um, as well from that item room. Let me go to that. Oh, it doesn't have a name. Karuko shield, mirror shield, that doesn't have an item name either. Dragon mail, scaly mail that can help you breathe underwater and handle immense heat. Breathe underwater and handle immense heat. That's pretty cool. Gravity boots. Experimental boots made by scientists. They weigh you down, but they, they have other use, uses. Oh, so the hover boots are not the gravity boots. And then that one doesn't have a name yet. And that doesn't have a name either, but we saw in the level select one that I did that there was a sword. It was the Great Deku sword. So now I'm just kind of swimming into oblivion here. Um, let me go... Ugh. Can I, uh, am I stuck? It's possible. So, D-pad. But <laughs> Oh, there we go. There we go. So we bring up that menu with the left. Hmm. I still don't know what those values are. The, uh, stop it. Nerds of this probably know what that is, but I don't know what that is. So someone, uh, Someone knows, just let me know. So we're in this area, there's no music. Um, we're probably gonna have to debug ourselves up there. I'm not sure if we can even get to that door. We can try. Gotta get used to the debug controls. Whee! Just fly my way up here. Whee! There we go. Yeah, I like the, uh, oops, I don't have the Great Deku Sword on anymore. Oh, because I switched to it in the menu. Um, save state, because I don't know what's gonna happen if we try and go through here. Nothing happens, okay. Had a feeling that would probably be the case. So I'm not really sure what all we can experiment with out here. But we do have the iron boots. Oh, you know, we don't need to go into the menu for that. We can use our quick menu. A Gravity boots. So I wonder, does it count as equipping the tunic? It does. The appearance just doesn't change. Ah, interesting. So we can definitely use that tunic for its function and walk around underwater and breathe. That's pretty cool. Even though the um, the appearance doesn't change. Let's just poke around the water under here. See what uh, see what's down here. Like I said, this episode we're not really gonna find anything new probably because I think we've been everywhere that we can. But it's just cool to walk around these areas with our arsenal of items. Just kind of messing around, you know, just for fun. Because we can. Over here, yeah, that structure is um quite something. Wow, this goes on for a while. So it looks like there would be some kind of like giant entrance there. Let's take the boots off and debug fly ourselves around. Oh, I guess we gotta equip those boots, okay. Um, and then we can, can we like go on top of this stuff? Let's we try and land on it. Oh, we can actually walk on it. That's cool. What about up here? It's kind of steep. This is cool. Oop. Hey, we're on top. Oh, we can actually stand on this too. It's actually a solid, uh, texture. Yeah, then that just... Drops off into oblivion. Still cool though. Oh wow, and there's like a little uh, uh I catch myself. 
Uh, forward, backwards. There we go. <laughs> That's cool. All right, so this is some kind of like runway or something like that, which is pretty cool. Huh. Okay. Let's um debug float our way around. I'm not really sure what else we can find in this area. Probably not much. We go back in the skeleton thing because, oops. Really weird using the debug controls, but I'll figure it out. All right, map. And then down here. Hey. This leads down to some kind of secret area. Probably hide like an item down here, maybe like a piece of heart or something. Ah. Oh, this leads out underneath the sand. <laughs> okay. So I wonder what that would have been used for. I don't know. All right, let's flip back at the top. Let's probably get up there faster if we, uh... Wait, am I using the right... I can't see. Okay, there we go. So B is up. A is down. Okay. So let's go back this way. We're not in the water anymore. <laughs> All right, cool. Rain, wind, jungle. We don't, need, we don't even need bombs. <laughs> not really sure. If, I don't think there was anything else. Ow. <laughs> don't mind me. Just uh, I'm just gonna slide. Put that away. It's really weird navigating the menu like that. There we go. Hey. Now hopefully this doesn't break because it's considered the giant's knife, and we do have the shark. What is it called? The um, the snake shot. That's right. Serpentine spring-loaded contraption that can pull you towards surfaces of us, too. We get up there. Grab this piece of heart. Oh, complete another heart there. Nice. So the snake shot probably you get, I would imagine, in Snake's Remains, which obviously was going to be a dungeon. That doesn't look like anything we can hook shot to. Uh, that definitely does more damage than the regular sword, so it's definitely bigger on sword strength, I think. I think it is, because the giant's knife and the big Oron sword, um, they both, let's go this way. I want to get to the, I don't know where I am. The red, oh, it's over here. That just goes into the Deku tree. We found that out, because that's where kind of things kind of ended. So there's nothing new to do there. There's really not, probably not going to be much else new to do anywhere, like I said, because I've kind of been everywhere, and that just falls off into oblivion. And this is just a blank door. Gotcha. So I don't think Rainwind Jungle is going to really hold anything for us. We can go back to uh, Biguna Lake, or Biguna Valley. No, it's not Biguna Valley. Dread Gulch, I think. Biguna Valley. Whee! I don't know how long this video is going to be, because we'll run out of stuff to do eventually. This led to the white... Oh, we have the hammer. We can break those rocks. Although I don't think anything's going to lead from there. Because... Yeah, this doesn't have a name. But it's the hammer. We got the bombs from the Zora guy down there for the uh, 10 spooters. We can go this way. Not sure if we can find anything, but it's worth a look. Boom. Aha! I wonder what this is. Ah, a piece of heart. So you would get a piece of heart after getting the hammer there. And then this was... Just a roof. Yeah, there's a ton more music that's not in this demo that I have that I can upload, which would be pretty cool. I like, I really like the design of this sword, to be honest. It's actually really cool looking. Um, then there's this over here. Yeah, using the debug controls just kind of makes me... Oh, I can't stand up here. 
Makes me switch between my uh, different stuff. And I have the screenshots for the ins inside of this red place. And it's exactly what I kind of hoped it would be. Like some kind of... Ooh, I can... It's still the grass sounds. It's like a futuristic kind of lab type dungeon. Okay. I really wish I could actually move the camera... Uh, move the camera around while I'm up here to see what I'm looking at, but... Not really. Who needs mood jump when you have uh, debug controls? Let's drop here. Yeah, it's obviously just a shell, but cool nonetheless. I really like that white structure over there. I like how that's designed. Nothing down there. Empty shells. Okay. Dread Gulch. We get the piece of heart next to uh, the thing, the place. But it's cool that we can run around the top of this area. Whee! Whoops! Oh, that's the uh, Zora guy. I was like, wait, what is that? <laughs> then we were up here already. We can go to these little islands that are out here, actually. Think. I have infinite power. Whee! Oh, there's something over here. There's a piece of heart, I think. I'm getting used to catching myself with the... Uh... <laughs> it still counted as a hit. Hey, a piece of heart. Safari collected too. Oh, there's a spooter over here. Oh, that's another one we could have gotten. Huh. Oh, it broke. So it does break. Huh. And it stays broken. Ah. Well, I guess they didn't change it so that the knife doesn't knife doesn't break. On top of here? Okay, no, it's just the, the turret. Let's just shimmy hover our way this way. Oops. Go away. Why can't I get rid of that menu now? Oh, there it is. Nope, I don't want to go on the floor. Back up. There we go. Well, that's annoying that I can't uh, keep that sword. I mean, we could go get another one if we really wanted to be fancy. So we the valley, and then the other area was um, Dread Gulch. Over yonder. Whee. We can go down here. We can also poke around up here. Don't really think there's any. Whoa. Whee. Get rid of that. Go to our boots. Huh. I wonder what's, what would be up here. Oh, an entrance to somewhere. Oh! <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> the shooting gallery? Yeah, sure, we have rupees, why not? Let's just do it real quick, just because we can, with our bow. With our eagle bow. Ooh, ooh, okay. Ooh. Let's get in one shot. One more, the red. Aha! <laughs> Pretty sure we already have that because of the room that had all those items, but that's okay. We're just having fun with this now, at this point. Oh, and then we're back at Grim Coast. That's weird how it leads out there. Okay. So now we're back in Rainwind. I think. Yeah. So let's debug hover ourselves around. Let's see. It's switching my shield every time I press the uh, D-pad. Oh, let's go down here. Oop. Okay, now we're back in Baguna Valley. Again. So we were making our way around. Dun, 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 dun. I guess we could poke around up a little bit. Oh. So again, seeing these structures like from the other side, like through all the different areas is pretty cool. Whee. And this goes back to Dread Gulch. Yeah. 
This is where I wanted to be. Because we have hookshot now, so we can actually do it properly and hookshot from from here. This is how you would get this piece of heart. Aha! Ba -ba -da -ba -da. Hey! <laughs> he shot me off the edge. Let's go up. And I'm not sure what the point of being able to hook shot up there is, but that's obviously there and a thing. So what can we poke around with? Go up this way. It's probably mostly a shell, yeah. Can we walk up this? Oh! That's an empty shell. Whoa! What about this thing? Can we stand on it? Hey, we can. I don't know why we want to, but here we are. Mm. Ah! Alright. Like I said, we're gonna run out of things to mess around with real pretty fast because. We could go back to the other demo and like debug ourselves around like the toxic, what is it, toxic canyon or whatever. If you really wanted to, but I don't know. There's only so much you can get out of that. And this was just a jump into infinity, I think. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't go anywhere. Yeah, I mean, we're actually already kind of exhausted our opportunities. I guess we could stand on top of the tree if we really want to. Whee! Nice view. So cool, though. I still love that. Whee! What else can we look at? Is there anything really? Anything else we can really do? Probably not. This goes back to Rainwind, I think, right? Yes. I've been here already. I guess I could show the screenshots. Let me, um... You all tab out. I have them open, actually. Uh, black screen. Okay, so let's minimize that. We'll still have the sound in the background, but here's some of the screenshots for um, the inside of the dungeon that I really want to see the inside of, the red building. That's pretty cool. Probably maybe that would be like the entrance or something. I'm not sure what that is down there on the bottom. But it's pretty cool. Um, let's see this one. Oops. I just want to move to the next one. Thank you. It's pretty cool. Another kind of room. You can see like the uh, Great Bay Temple vibes with the lights. Eh, no. There we go. This is pretty cool. I like this a lot. I like the pathway. You can see areas like doctor work and stuff like that around. The arrows. Oops. Well, we're not in the next picture. This is pretty neat too. Like an outside area inside the fortress. Looks pretty cool. I like the look of all that. It's pretty neat. And then like a layout of the dungeon. Like I wonder what that is. Like some kind of power core or something like that maybe? That looks really cool. Again, I wish it was like playable. Like I walk around inside here. Obviously the map was made and there's like screenshots of it. So I don't know. It's not in what I have. And then here's I think what we were looking at from the top down. Some kind of like generator or something like that which is really really cool and it's funny because those boots mentioned like uh made in a laboratory or something here's another cool shot of like a reactor core type thing which is really cool to see in like a zelda zelda thing it's a random ladder so you'd probably you know maybe come down come out this way make your way up and then around, figure out whatever that is, go that way maybe, I don't know. It's fascinating. And there's only one more picture. This is a room with some water in the upper area. It's pretty cool. Pretty neat. So yeah, those are screenshots of the, uh, of the dungeon. Let's go back to the game. Yeah, I think we're, we're kind of out of things to do really. It's a short video. It's We're only at just at 20 minutes. I mean, 20 minutes of just messing around it's kind of a last hurrah video for third quest so 
I think we'll kind of call it there because otherwise it's going to be kind of boring running around. Kind of seeing everything that we can see, messing around with stuff. Uh, let me just check my notes to make sure there's nothing else that I uh, wanted to look at. Because I did write, there was some stuff that um, I specifically had. Uh, the dungeon screenshots. Uh, the bow. Yeah, you can switch the elements with the bow, or apparently that was the plan to switch elements with the bow. But I don't think that's possible in uh, in this, which is fine. Um, we loaded up on all the items. Um, did we, we didn't play with the boomerang at all. Oh, wow. So it does have a model, and there's like a blue gem on it. That's kind of cool. But it doesn't do anything different than... Uh, normal boomerang and there's no uh it doesn't show him holding it in his hand which is kind of strange it's all a snake shot prisma torch the lens we don't have magic power hmm. hammer bomb shoes nuts magic beans ocarina what happens if we try and play the ocarina Nothing, no songs. It's cool seeing that model play it, though. <laughs> Just fussing around with it. And then they have their item pouch. Oh, and, he, and that's where, like, that stuff would be. But it kind of overlaps, so they'd probably have to be, like, another layer. Like, another, like, window layer for that stuff to be on. And then you can't select it at all with this. Uh, world map there's not there and then this only allows you to save it quick swap on or off pro hud on or off invert camera controls antique sword Karuko shield drifters outfit none of that stuff has extra stuff so yeah if you uh if you guys liked it and want to stay on top of this quest i will be you know stay on top of this of course uh, as soon as anything else comes out about it i'll be on it and uh, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe for more stuff like this, more ROM hacks coming in the future besides this. Uh, doing Banjo-Kazooie, the Jiggies of Time as well. So subscribe, comment, like, and I'll catch you in the next video. As always, until then, take care.